Welcome to our complimentary online training. This is a complimentary overview of the scale method. If you have a product or service you want to sell online, and if you're spending time and money on Facebook ads, Google ads, YouTube ads, LinkedIn ads, or Twitter ads, this online training is both timely and critical for your business. Now we'll be covering a simple yet highly effective 12-step method. We will start with critical foundation steps first. These must be implemented when running ads on any of the major ad platforms. Now this 12-step method, it's guaranteed to scale your business online by leveraging proven processes, proven strategies, in simple technology that will automate your ads and targeting. See, this process is guaranteed to produce results, regardless if your advertising skill level is beginner, intermediate, or genius. See, you can apply these simple and effective strategies on Facebook, Google, YouTube, LinkedIn, and yeah, you could have guessed it, Twitter. They're universal. You may be asking yourself, who is this guy talking in this video and why should I stay, watch, and listen? My name's Kurt Molly. And I've owned an online advertising agency for the past six plus years. See, we've spent millions of dollars in Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, and Twitter ads. And this exact method has been tested and verified in over 35 different industries. I mean, our clients range from six-figure companies to seven-figure to eight-figure companies, national best-selling authors, publishers, speakers, musicians, real estate experts, copy experts, funnel experts, nutrition experts, and the list really goes on and on. From sports teams to blogging companies to national best-selling authors to really great big national brands. One of the clients that we've been implementing the scale method on was recently on Shark Tank from the season finale. We've also tried trained thousands of people around the world who are really just like you. I've been published in publications and I speak at a lot of different events around the US. And we spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on mastermind events to rub elbows with people who are some of the smartest, brightest, and leading individuals in the online marketing realm today. We also go to exclusive invite-only masterminds. This is where we share a lot of these ideas and prove out and test our strategies with some of the brightest people in the world the online marketing space. See, we've documented and proven these processes to consistently produce results. And we offer this free online training to build a strong working relationship with you. See, we believe in leading with value and we assist people just like you in scaling your ads and online business. All you have to do is implement takeaway strategies you learned today from watching this video. You will start to see effective results quickly and easily. During this video, we will be covering five critical self-evaluation questions. Now, these five self-evaluation questions will assist you in discovering exactly what you require to scale your business with predictable and scalable results. And this way you can finally predict your own success. Now all of this will start to happen for you too once you complete this online training video. So you just have to implement what you learned today. If you have any questions during this 12-step scale method video training, or if you'd like more detailed training or support, we're here to support you. And we host live regular trainings on the scale method. Now, when you attend our live trainings, you'll be receiving step-by-step -step documents, access to done-for-you templates, access to done-with-you support, one-on-one -on -one strategy and consulting, access to tools, resources, and resident geniuses, and the Genius Society. It's a community of people just like us who are scaling their business where we're working all in a collective, together, exchanging ideas. Most importantly, Connect with us live to get answers and support. Now to register for the next live online training, just click the link below. Or at any time you can click this box at any time in the video if you're watching this on YouTube. Now to register for our next live training, again, just click that icon anytime. Thank you for watching. Now let's jump into the initial training. This method can start showing profitable results in under 30 days if you follow step-by-step, -step, implement, and test and verify. Now, the best thing is, is the strategy doesn't require any social media experience. The method doesn't require you to have any social marketing skills. And the method doesn't require you to have any website building skills. The method also doesn't require to have any specialized technical knowledge. This method also doesn't require you to hire 10 plus people to implement. Let's talk about who's going to benefit from this training. Let's really talk about three different buckets. Either you're a beginner, intermediate, or genius. The way we like to classify a beginner is you've started a Facebook fan page in the past. You've at least started one, have some working knowledge of how it works, and maybe you've spent under $500 on Facebook ads. You just run a couple of ads, you kind of understand how it works, where the buttons are, but you haven't seen a lot of success. Intermediate, you have working knowledge of Facebook ads. 
you've spent anywhere from $500 to $2,000 on Facebook ads, and you understand what uh, the acronyms of CPC, CTR, and CPA is. That would be cost per click, click-through rate, and cost per action, or cost per acquisition. Now, the genius level is if you spend over $2,000 on Facebook ads. Roughly by that number, you should know what your control numbers are from your most important KPIs, your key performance indicators. And you're looking right now to further grow your lifetime value, both short and long term, with scaling your products online. Now, if you feel that you're in one of those three buckets, here's who's really gonna benefit from today's training. People who have an open mind, uh, they're open to hear new ideas and opinions, who are willing to test and verify the things we talk about and cover in the video today. You also have a product, service, message, or idea. And you also are seeking long-term, scalable, and predictable results. And you must be willing to follow a step-by-step -step instructions taught by industry experts. Here's who's not going to benefit and can really excuse themselves from the video right now. Someone who has a still trap mind, they're just not interested in listening or trying anything new. Someone who is not willing to test and verify. I mean, really, just to try. Someone who's seeking that magic trick of that .0002 cent clicks or that magic or weird one button, eh, that's not us. And someone who will not follow a step-by-step -step proven process created seriously by some of the most smartest people in the industry. We're learning from them. Here's the thing. Go ahead and excuse yourself now from the video if you feel you don't fit in one of those buckets or if you feel that you fit any of the topics on the slide. As we continue throughout this video, I promise and assure you that once you begin to implement, you're gonna to start to see results. All right, self-assessment question number one. What bucket do you feel that you fit in today? Go ahead and just write this down. Do you feel you're beginner, intermediate, or genius? Okay, here's the reason I ask. Beginner, pay close attention to steps one through three in the scale method, just one through three. And then when we move on to intermediate, you can go ahead and just relax and see what's possible. Intermediate. Pay attention to steps four through six. This will increase your ad results by over 40%, many times increasing your revenue by well over 40%. The genius level, steps seven through 12. This will double the lifetime of your value of a customer within 30 days. And the ad platform will automatically target your perfect customer. This is a big one. Everybody should see the possibilities here. And if you've been running ads online, I assure you, you're gonna see huge results for implementing what we're gonna cover in the genius section. Now, no, take action items and deadlines for implementation. Those are the notes that you ideally should be taking right now as you're watching this video. Do not just take down new ideas or concepts which you may feel is a shiny object. We wanna produce real results. At the conclusion of our live trainings, you'll receive a documented digital copy and mind map that's gonna give you detailed action item notes on what to do next. Now again, this is for people who attend and register for our live training. Also, we will be paying people like you $1,000 for applying the Genius Scale method successfully to your business. We're paying people for results. So you may be asking yourself, what is scale? Well, scale stands for scale, custom, audiences, look alike and evaluate. What we're gonna do is we wanna make sure we have the most qualified audience to scale our business. Now here's a new paradigm shift for many of you. When we set up our ads correctly, when we follow this method correctly, Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter start to do all the hard work. They start to take care of all the targeting for us. You see, their algorithms, their instinctive code behind their platform knows exactly who wants to see our products and services as we build this correctly. So we're gonna to wanna to leverage this amazing backbone that these platforms have. Now remember, you have the ability to choose because when we give you a step-by-step -step process, you just move from one step to the other. You never have the chance to get lost when you know where you're going step-by-step. -step. Always remember, you have the ability to choose to move forward. Now, this is gonna work as long as you have four core keystones. You're gonna to have to have a product, service, message, or idea that you can monetize. We'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. And you must know who your perfect customer and avatar is. And we actually help you do that through the scale method, those through 12 critical steps. And remember, proof. Well, how do we know it all works? Well, we wanna prove it out. We wanna make sure that it's right, it's profitable, so we can scale it. Now, product, service, message, or idea. Your PSMI will need to sell at least a minimum of $100 within 30 days for this all to work. You must sell at least something worth $100. All 
Ideally, you wanna offer products and services that will produce you $100 within 30 days. See, the most critical thing is, is you need to be selling something within the first 30 days to make up for your ad cost and ad spend. And then we're gonna talk about growing that lifetime value of your customer. Self-assessment question number two. How many offers are you making in the first 30 days of initial engagement? If someone likes your fan page, opts into your email, or watches a video, if they're in your engagement funnel, how many offers are you making in the first 30 days? I'll tell you what, ideally you wanna be within two to four offers in the first 30 days. And ideally they should be your offers. It's one of the fastest ways to grow your lifetime value. Now I gotta warn you starting out, if you set this up wrong, it, it's not gonna go well. See, here's what we wanna make sure that happens. We wanna make sure that our ads are great content for the people who are clicking on them. We want to make sure that your ads are relevant, that you're targeting the right person, the right avatar. Because you see, with great content and with highly qualified people watching that great content and consuming that content, Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, and Twitter will allow you to scale your programs in ways you've never thought possible before. See, the artificial intelligence will make everything happen as long as you set up these first steps. They're critical. So let's talk about the scale method steps one through three. By the way, if you're a beginner and you're just starting out advertising online, we strongly suggest that you advertise on Facebook. If you'd like to, we have a class that we put together called Social Media Ad Genius, which has videos, documentation, step-by-step. -step. It's been used by people all over the world and it's a great place to get started. And we do it for a really low monthly fee. You can stop at any time. But let's talk about clearly defined avatar, identify your four different interest clusters, or run ads or interest clusters. And again, if you're interested more in social media ad genius, you can go ahead and click on that logo or come back to the video anytime that you would like. See, intermediate, we're going to add an additional three steps. We're going to talk more about retargeting, landing page performance, and follow-up processes. See, again, these are principles that will work on any of the major ad platforms. They maybe have a little bit different name for like custom audiences, but they all offer these for you to scale your business. Now the genius level starts to come in with weekly content, weekly events, weekly calls to action, and more. This is really where we're gonna leverage that artificial intelligence. These ad platforms are gonna target some of the best people for us and allow us to keep following up with people who haven't been engaged with our brand with, by just their email address. Remember, we've documented all these step-by-step -step processes. And you can leverage our resources and community at any time when you click on that scale method button down below. And we have video trainings and, and big ideas that take people step-by-step -step on what to do next and key performance indicator benchmarks and genius experts and how to connect with geniuses. Again, just to give you all the support. The main thing is, is you wanna have a documented plan and proof right? You want to know what your plan is and what are the numbers, then how do you adjust those numbers? So that's the next question. Do you know what your numbers are? For example, on Facebook, do you know how much it costs you to get an average like? What about an average website click? How about a cost per action or cost per lead? Or what's your average cost per sale? You see, here's what happens. There's a driver to these main numbers and it's really critical for you to understand what influences these drivers of the numbers. See, the number one thing that we're really going to talk about and I really want you to focus on is, for example, is a relevance score on Facebook. The more relevant your content is, everything else will fall into place. That's one of the biggest tips I can give you today. The more relevant your content is, the better your ads will do. And this is where everything starts to fall into place. Relevance score is going to rank higher than click-through rate, cost per click, or cost per lead when you're starting out in your advertising. Now, so here's how we do it. The very first step is we really want to focus on who is our ideal buyer. We want to figure out the age, the demographic, but we really want to focus on who that person is. See, when we write ads directly to that person and our emails and our marketing, our conversions are going to be much higher. What happens is, is once we identify who we want to market to, who that perfect avatar is, now what we're going to do is we're going to start to identify interest clusters. And we like to call this affinity marketing. Who else may like your products and services? Let me give you a good example. Affinity. Well, what we're talking about here is similarity, resemblance, likeness, kinship, relationship, association, and so on. So what we want to be able to figure out is we know who our perfect avatar is, but who may be outside of that avatar, but very closely related. So how can we scale our traffic? Let me give you an example. See, here's what a lot of people do is we want you to build your audience in three different steps. 
Step one, your core audience. This is where you're gonna focus on who's your avatar, age range, gender, income, geography, etc. The more detailed you can be on your avatar, and we help you do this through our trainings, but the more detailed, the more that this is all gonna work. Now, affinity marketing is gonna be more along the lines of, okay, that core person, what are their hobbies? interest, activities, causes, who may they hang around, you know, who may else may enjoy your content or products or services. Now here's what happens next. Step three is when you start creating these lookalike audiences you may have heard from. This is really at the genius level. This is where the artificial intelligence of these major platforms really start to do all the work for you. Here's the problem though, many marketers skip this step, but it's the key leverage point to scaling up to larger, more profitable audiences. You wanna make sure you get the affinity marketing right. See, what happens from the affinity marketing, once you have your four distinct groups, you wanna begin by testing your core audience and your affinity audiences, and you wanna test what CTA is, is your call to action. Establish early control numbers. So see what's gonna happen is we're gonna test four different groups and we're gonna run an ad. And you see that blue line that's around mobile, desktop, and right-hand side? That blue means we're gonna run an ad just that's for content. And it could be to a blog, it could be just to a video or a post, I'll demonstrate that in a moment. But anything that you see that's dotted in a blue line, we're gonna test with just content. How can we get highly relevant content? And we're gonna test this with mobile, desktop, or right-hand side. So let me give you an example. We're gonna to wanna to test to figure out how much does it cost for us to get a like or how much does it cost for us to do a boost post or a video view on mobile? How about desktop? How about right hand side? We're gonna to wanna to know what is our average cost per like, what's our average cost per boost post and average cost per video view, which each one of those different placements. See, what's gonna happen is you see highlighted in blue likes, boost posts, and video views. That's really for branding. That's to help drive relevant content. Again, this is something we go deeper into in our live online scale method training. But what you wanna do is you wanna test your groups by running to relevant content. So quick self-assessment. Do you currently have a set of control ads for testing? For example, do you know which ads will consistently produce you a certain cost per like or a certain cost per click? or a certain cost per lead. So do you know your control numbers or do you not know your control numbers? This is critical. This is like a dashboard on your car. You always wanna know where your speedometer is and where your other major dials are to make sure that you're on a path to get there. So takeaway, key takeaway one, control numbers. Test and review every three days. Don't just trust numbers that happen in six hours or in 24 hours. Let the algorithm start to pick up, let those ads start to be served and evaluate every three days. Establish predictable key performance indicators for each action that you're bidding for. So if you're driving likes, what's your average cost per like? Understanding your control numbers are critical so you can scale your business. We have to know what your cost per click is. You have to know what your cost per like is. And you have to know some of these average numbers. And don't worry, we'll show you what some of these are here in just a moment. Keeping track of your control numbers weekly, either in a journal or spreadsheet, is gonna be huge. The reason is you can start to see trends. See, what trends are you seeing weekly? Can you keep your cost per like, or your cost per click, or your cost per leads under a certain amount. At the beginner stage, if you're just getting started with these concepts, definitely check out Social Media Ad Genius. We make it really easy to get started and anybody at any level can get started or even up to the genius level. That's why we call it Social Media Ad Genius. But if you want to right now and you want to go ahead and inject yourself from the chain, go ahead and click on that Social Media Ad Genius logo that you see just right here and that'll take you directly over to where you can get some more support with Social Media Ad Genius. Now, if you're a beginner and you want to continue to watch on how you're going to scale your business, just sit back, relax, and just imagine what if. Now for intermediate, scale method steps one through six. See, we're going to add on what we're doing to beginners, but now we're going to start talking about retargeting and custom audiences, landing page performance, and follow-up processes. Again, these are best practices on the major ad platforms and are really going to help you scale your business. So retargeting and custom audiences. So let's really take a look at this deep down. See, what's gonna happen is as we're targeting our affinity groups right here into the ad, right? We're running just content marketing. We're testing mobile, desktop, right-hand side. We're testing this on likes, boost posts, video views, website clicks. We're running this to relevant content. Again, it could be a blog. It could be a news article, something on our site. So what we're gonna be able to do is we're gonna be able to put people in custom audiences and custom audiences are either audiences you can upload into Facebook with emails or phone numbers, 
or you're retargeting audiences from your visitors. See, you gotta understand the critical drivers of these numbers. What drives these key performance indicators to know all of your numbers? See, what happens is, once you get people in retargeting audience, your main driver is gonna be engagement. So ideally, in retargeting ads, use mobile for likes, boost posts, and video views to increase engagement. Not to get people back to your website, but to increase engagement. An increased engagement, an increase in relevancy score is going to help drive some critical numbers for you. So you also want to be able to have custom audiences. And again, these are the audiences that you're uploading with either phone numbers or email addresses where you can really start to segment and target people. Now, the last steps is for conversion, your true retargeting audience, the people who are already interested in certain content that you are going to retarget with mobile desktop right hand side using boost post video videos and website clicks to drive people to the next step in the conversion. See the drivers in the landing page performance notice the green lines around the affinity group and the retargeting audiences. Now we're starting to write copy that are for ads, that are advertisements for people to take action right now. These could either be retargeted from content or using the same affinity audience we were targeting content to. Now we're gonna target website clicks and optimize conversions. We're gonna run these ads to mobile desktop right hand side and we're gonna run it to either a welcome page a content page, a lead page, or a conversion page. Now we like to use what we call welcome pages and these welcome pages basically let the consumer know, here's who we are, here's what we're all about, here's how we're gonna be able to help you. Many times it's just with content and we'll retarget from the welcome page. But the very first page that people land on should be content that people can consume and it's highly relevant, not just directly to a lead page or directly to a sales page unless it adds unless it lists enough information and value for someone to make a decision. See, what's gonna happen is we gotta focus on your key performance indicators because on step six is all about the follow-up process. See, once people have already started to qualify themselves either with clicks or becoming leads, our biggest drivers for a follow-up process is gonna be retargeting leads and sales. Now we wanna retarget everybody with website clicks and I wish I had enough time to spend on why we only use website clicks for retargeting, but this is something that we deal with in the extended training of the live scale method trainings. But we're gonna retarget with content with mobile desktop right hand side. We're gonna send them to content pages to further follow up, to solidify that belief system, to take them to a lead page, a conversion page. And then we're gonna focus on the next logical steps. But each step of the way, we must know our critical numbers. Self-assessment question number four. Do you currently have a retargeting plan for content and landing page visitors? If yes, great. But if no, you really require and deserve a plan that you put together so people can logically think through the process of why they want to purchase your products and services. Align the belief system and give people additional information so that they have additional information to buy or they understand why they have to buy right now. Key takeaway number two, follow up and segment. Start retargeting and qualified clicks. Segment your clicks and email and follow up based on actions. Now here's some of the best practices. Draw out your follow-up strategy for your ads and your emails. Engagement and segmentation. What are people reading? What do people like to engage with? Where can you send people next that is logic, that's logical in your funnel? Start to write down your control and follow-up numbers from your ads and emails. Know how many people are opening your emails, clicking on the links in your emails. What is your cost per like? How much does it take to get a cost per click to your website? How many clicks does it take to get an opt-in? How many leads or opt-ins does it take to get a sale? Now, a lot of people stop here. They get frustrated in the numbers or they don't really know what they started, what they need to finish. I always seriously slap myself and go, what the heck are people stopping for? See, the best way to guarantee results is to start scaling your business, but it's to have really good content. So intermediate, if you understand all this up to this point, great. If not, and you want some additional training that says, hey, Kurt, I, I think I understand what's going on here, but I really want to ask you some questions or I want to show you my ads or I, I want to really understand what's going on with my funnel, go ahead and join that live scale method training right now. Go ahead and again, click on that, uh, that circle down the left-hand side of your screen and then I'll take you right on over to register for our next live event. Now, uh, weekly content strategy. This is really where things start to take off. It's really our genius strategy we're going to have a lot of fun with. See, the genius is going to add another uh, step 7 through 12. 
It's weekly content, weekly events, and a weekly call to action. And this is going to make a lot of sense to a lot of people very, very, very quickly. See, it's just really understanding what your key numbers are. Now, step number seven helps to recover some cost that really becomes a lot of fun. See, you're going to start targeting your affinity groups that are giving you the best quality and cost per likes and cost per clicks. Now, they might not have opted in yet, but we're going to run boost posts, video views, and website clicks. We're going to run an ad that's content on mobile, desktop, and right-hand side, and we're going to run it to a weekly content. Now, that could be a new weekly video, could be a new weekly blog post, supporting documentation, case studies. We're just sending them to additional content that your avatar is gonna find useful and aligns the belief system as they're in the buying process. Now we're also gonna take all of our custom audiences, that's all of our buyers, all of our leads, all of our people who've landed on our website. We're gonna use boost post, video views, and website clicks to target mobile, desktop, and right-hand side. And we're gonna target them to the weekly content as well. Now we're gonna to wanna to know what those drivers and critical numbers are because if we keep moving people along the process, like for example, if we sent an email, they clicked on a link and they went back to a web page, we wanna follow up with those people with specific ads. So whether they became a lead and we're following up with email, or if they just clicked on the weekly content, we wanna make sure we retarget them with website clicks. And we're gonna retarget them with additional information on mobile, desktop, and right-hand side to a weekly call to action. Now this is additional content or it's a lead page. This is where I send people in the weekly content strategy is to align their belief system on what we're gonna talk about. And the people who land on that page, I send them to a weekly call to action. That would be the lead page to have them opt in for what we were just talking about. And these are some of the critical numbers to know because these were the drivers really start to make a difference. See, what happens is, is you start to work with weekly events and it's only the people who took action on your weekly content. See, here's how it works. Now, weekly event is really gonna leverage hyperactive people. This is gonna be your custom audiences, you know, people who um, are already buyers or retargeting audiences of people who land on your website or leads, of course, email addresses you have. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna run boost post, video views, website clicks. You're gonna retarget this all into mobile desktop right-hand side. And since these are green line around this, you're gonna make the ads a little more sales, right? A little more direct. Register now, go here now, attend the webinar. Before it's all been content. We wanna make sure that we know our numbers when they're going into those webinar series, going into those video series. We wanna know how much does it cost to get someone there and then turn it into a conversion. Because see what's gonna happen is people are gonna land on our weekly events. Either they're gonna opt in as a lead or they're just gonna land on the page and not take action. So we wanna follow up properly and we wanna follow up with good content ads on mobile, desktop, and right-hand side to get people over to that weekly call to action. That's that sales page. That's that next step. But see, the thing is, is we're, when we're advertising this weekly call to action, here's where the money really starts to pile up because it doesn't cost much to do this. See, what we're doing is we're only targeting our retargeting audiences and our leads. People who already bought are not on this list. We're only targeting people who've been interested. Notice the ads are again highlighted in green. We're gonna use boost post, video views, and website clicks on mobile desktop right-hand side to move people right over to that weekly call to action. That is time for them to take action. Is it time to listen to that podcast, take advantage of that 10% off, or is it time for them to take action right now because they need to watch the replay or the webinar and purchase before Sunday? See, what's gonna happen is, is we wanna follow up on our next logical steps. Do we need to retarget people? Do we need to follow up with leads? Or do we follow up with sales separately? We don't wanna keep advertising to our sales. We gotta make sure we know what our critical metrics are for mobile, desktop, and right-hand side so we can really assist on conversions. This is the biggest thing that so many people mess up. What they do is they go through a typical seven-day funnel, they start to follow up with people, and then after seven days, they just stop following up and they leave so much money on the table. See, we've already worked through the first nine steps. You've already qualified people. You have qualified clicks. You have qualified leads. But what happens if they didn't buy? Well, let's follow up with buyer and non-buyer. See those green ads at the top? This is a huge driver. So when you have people who just saw an offer, 
They just saw an offer, but they didn't buy. You can retarget with your retargeting audiences or of course with your leads. You're gonna use video views and website clicks to retarget them on mobile desktop right hand side and send that back over to that weekly call to action page. And if they're a non-buy, you're gonna move them to the weekly engagement series. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. But if they're a buyer, follow up with people. See, notice that's a blue ad right down here below. You wanna follow up with people, thank them for becoming a customer. Let them know what the next steps are. This will dramatically decrease your refund rate. But again, that blue is content. Send people to client onboarding. Set expectations for that new customer. And know your numbers, what it costs to get someone there. See, what happens is, is you really start to scale your business when you start taking a look at additional products and services. So you may have a product for $297 and you may follow up with people for seven days. But how else can you create splinter products? Because see, you have highly qualified retargeting audiences. You have leads that just haven't bought because of your current offer. Is it the price point? What about if you allowed them to participate with maybe four videos for $47 versus your entire course? See, what you wanna be able to do is you wanna create a story on mobile desktop right hand side and retarget to highly qualified clicks and leads. You wanna do payment plans or splinter offers. Allow people to participate in your products and services early and often. Leverage the content that you already have. Before you send them off to another affiliate, make sure that you make different offers on the programs and services that you have right now before you send your new customers and leads out to a new affiliate. Now, what happens if they, if they don't buy? Well, then just follow up with your weekly content. That's why we do the weekly content, so we're always in front of your people. Now, leveraging the artificial intelligence of the platform can be one of the more complicated parts that we train, but it's one of the most rewarding and most profitable. But again, if you've understood me up to this point and you're like, ah, oh, Kurt, I'm getting a little fuzzy here. We're getting, it gets a little more complicated. Again, just go ahead and click on that button at the bottom left-hand side of the screen and go on over to the live scale method. Register for our next live scale method trading. I'd love to be able to meet you live and even talk about your ads and talk about your funnel and how you can scale your business. But let's go ahead and jump into this. See, what happens is, is when you take your fan page, retargeting audience, leads, sales, conversion pixels, you start creating lookalike audiences from one to 9%. Now I can go into pro tips all day long here, but let's be honest, if you really wanna know those next scale method steps, jump on our live presentation. We'd love to meet you. We've given you lots of actionable steps that you can take and implement right now. What we wanna do is we wanna work with people who are ready to take those next steps. So if you believe you're up to this point, you're like, Kurt, I, I just need to know the next couple of steps, join our live training. It's free and it's absolutely worth it. Because now we're gonna take likes, boost posts, video views, website clicks, and lead ads. Once we really know our numbers, we're gonna run both ads and content ads on mobile desktop right hand side. And we're gonna test out some lookalike audiences. We're gonna start to see the artificial algorithm really start to take over. Well, this can be one of the biggest pro tips, but it would take me 15 minutes to go over. And this is one of the things I love to go over live with you. So if you wanna see the biggest pro tips, the biggest way to scale your market, mobile desktop right hand side, the way we're gonna be testing these lookalike audiences and, re and repeat steps three through five, this this is where the genius gets to be so much fun in this training and especially in the application where you see your business really grow. Now I'm gonna show you how to leverage the AI of the platform when you join our live presentation. These three bullet points that I'm gonna show you on this page right here that I will review when you join us on the live presentation can make a huge difference in your business if you're already spending $200, $400,000 a day the sky really becomes a limit. But again, this is exactly why we have people join our live presentation. Not only so we can meet you live, but we can also answer your questions live to see how this really works in your real world scenario. So best practices, create a lookalike audience from all potential sources. Lookalike audiences and proper conversion optimization will provide you scale. So self-assessment question number five. Are you testing a lookalike audience and conversion optimization properly? Again, if you're not, there's no judgment here. But as you start taking a look at these self-assessment questions, it can really start to show you where you need to be improving on your marketing next. Now, the four parts of the keystone that we talked about before, the product service message idea, okay, we got that. Perfecting a perfect customer, okay, we got that. The scale method, all 12 steps. Well, each step is quantifiable. We have to have proof. We have to know what are the drivers and what are the numbers we should be shooting for. So again, you can go ahead and click on the left-hand logo to opt in to our next live upcoming training or use the link on down below that you'll see listed in the description. So the scale method really comes down to proof. We can prove out each one of these steps and this is how we make sure that we scale. We just go from one step to the next, to the next, to the next. What are they? They're, well, they're key performance indicators. 
And you wanna understand that each step is gonna have multiple key performance indicators. But remember, there's only a couple of things that really drive your main most important numbers. See, we have each step documented with videos, documents, templates, key performance indicator guidelines, and more. We even built in the genius scale method, beginner, intermediate, and genius ideas. We call them big ideas. And see, here's what they help you do, is they help you know what are your benchmarks if you're a beginner, intermediate, and genius. For instance, like if you're gonna do a dark post. Or what do you start testing for if your ads aren't going well? So for a dark post, what do you start testing first? What do you test second? And what's the overview of the strategy? If you don't understand what to test for, what's at least the strategy? And then let's get into specifics and tactics on exactly what to do next. And of course, key take Takeaways. I mean, you just learned something either from a video or inside the writing. What are some of the key takeaways? Important resources. What are some of the links that can help move you ahead to that next step? And of course, case studies. People love stories and relate with stories. And these are real world case studies for each step. And of course, momentum steps. What helps you move to that next step? Self-assessment question number six. Do you have a written out plan on how to scale your ads and business in the next six months? Really, we're talking about your online business here, but of course that's gonna help scale your business. But do you have a written plan? Just yes or no. And again, reevaluate all six of your answers to find out where are you right now? How can we help? I'm gonna give you a digital copy of the mind map, steps one through five, step by step, so you can always review it when you join us on the next upcoming live training. And some of you are gonna receive access to all 12 steps in an online document that you can create your very own scale strategy with. You can move around the boxes, add in your own websites. And again, remember, people who implement the scale method, we're gonna be paying $1,000 to. But we wanted to make this video short and full of content, so if you wanna find out all the details of how this is going to happen, just join our live scale method training. And of course, I'm going to introduce you to the other genius staff if you haven't met them already, where you're going to meet Shecky, my business partner, Nick. Also, we're going to show you exactly who we work with, who we help leverage to really help drive our funnels, ads, creatives, huh, and the genius society. You know, the genius society we'll talk about more on the live webinar, but this is a group of individuals like you and I who are scaling their business where we are all doing it together. And it is just amazing the things we are being able to accomplish right now inside of this group. And we'd love to have you. And again, I'd love to go into more, but really join us live for the next upcoming presentation. Again, go ahead and click on that logo right now. We would love to have you. Thank you for spending your valuable and precious time here. We know your time is extremely valuable. I really appreciate you staying to this part of the video. And right now, it comes for you to the ability to choose. So if you're a beginner, go ahead and choose the left. Click on that left, um, that big left logo right there. and It'll take you directly to where you need to go to go ahead and get started with Facebook ads and really start to help you scale your business from the very, very start. Now, the scale method is really going to have your business take off. But join us live to find out the next steps. Thank you very much for spending time with me today. Thank you for watching the video. And if nothing else, implement these strategies and write us back at support at socialmediaadgenius.com. Again, support at socialmediaadgenius.com. Let us know what you implemented. Let us know your results. We look forward to seeing you on one of our online trainings or on the next live scale method training. Thanks, everybody.